wild boar, she'd say. Why, well, I don't know. I don't know if they have to wild. A wild boar is just a pig that has gone feral. That is the only difference. And if I've ever seen a feral pig, it's this man. Look at this man's eyes. Yeah, what's wrong? What's the deal with his left eye there? You know what? I just, you know what? It looks like it was fixed in position. I just think it's really wrong that Marion Catholic High School let what is obviously a Satanist into the house here tonight. Now, how do you know he's a Satanist? Look at this man. This man has taken blood from children and drank it, obviously. Oh, come on. No, this man has done some really dark stuff. I wouldn't let my daughter date him. I'll put it that way. Jackson Crowley, and he's gonna he's gonna stand a chance. I just don't buy it, Rich. I think this Jackson Crowley guy has got Marco Stunt's number. That little rug rat, that little rug rat is what he is right there. He's embracing it with that rug rat's logo on his butt. Ah, uh, there's uh, from behind. Jackson Crowley's not having any of the uh, the adulation or the. Oh, hold on here, Crowley diving through the ropes. That's a suicide dive if I ever seen one because uh, you run into a guy like that that size. He's not going to be able to stop your momentum when you go through those ropes there. And Jackson Crowley here prowling, watching his prey. And Marco Stunt seems to think that he can. Oh, ho, ho, Jackson Crowley. That's got to be enough. Somehow Stunt kicks out. I thought his head was going to pop like a balloon. And Marco Stunt looks like he's seen a ghost, and maybe he has. Trying to roll Crowley up. Stunt. Off the ropes and whoop, going for that flying head scissors. Caught by Crowley and what's he got in mind? And look at that, he did the crucifix right here at Marriott Catholic. Stunt able to shimmy free. Puts on the brakes and it is Stunt getting a boot right up into the throat of Jackson Crowley. Stunt again and this time able to connect with the flying head scissors. Crowley to the outside. and. You got a feeling we're going to see Air Marco here in just a moment. Well, if, if Marco Stunt stands a chance here against Jackson Crowley, he's going to have to use his speed. I don't know what else he's got here. He doesn't have the height. He doesn't have the weight. Between that bottom and second rope, Marco Stunt shooting himself at Jackson Crowley. And Jackson Crowley here down. One more time. And this time connects with a flying clothesline. And you see all those CM Punk shirts right there. Last night, Marco Stunt was uh, right there ringside as Jurassic Express took on uh, 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 the uh, Jurassic Well, never mind that. Here comes Stunt one more time through the ropes and well, it was caught by Crowley, who, oh, plant Stunt it, right on the ring apron. You were saying. It was private party. It was private party. It was, it was Jurassic Express private party. But Jackson Crowley here managed to drop Marco Stunt, who's now laying motionless on the ground. And Jackson Crowley here, I think, da daring people to do anything about what he is doing to Marco Stunt. You see those hardwood boards sticking out the side of that ring apron right there. It would be a horrible thing if Jackson Crowley were to see that, maybe take it to the eyeball of Marco Stunt and just kicking him, kicking this guy while he's down, going to work. This Jackson Crowley guy, he looks like a crooked preacher. I know a preacher one time, he said he'd get the devil out of me, kick me like that. I think it was this preacher. I think it's this Jackson Crowley type here. I think he's trying to... Uh, cleanse the sins of Marco Stunt here with these kicks. Sounds like one of the nuns I had at Catholic school back in the day. Yeah, but he's an evil nun. 
evil, evil priest, dark priest, Satanist. I'm telling you, Marco Stunt, head to the top. Very dangerous, precocious position for him to be in. Here he comes, diving double foot stop off the top. And Jackson Crowley here definitely a little off on his feet at the moment. Stunt with full speed ahead, single leg drop kick. And look at Crowley here collapsing like a big bag of bones. Oh! Stunt again with a running knee and Crowley crumbles to the outside. Yeah, his long, lengthy uh, frame falling to the ground. Stunt setting up for something. Here he comes again with a low dive, and oh my god! Big DDT on the floor! That is it, that is what you gotta do here, Marco. Jackson Crowley laying on the ground here, looks like he could just roll him into a, a casket or something. You know, he'd probably be comfortable there. Probably sleeps in one of those things at night. And the crowd very into Marco Stunt. Well, Marco, I hope you can take that energy, bottle it up, and drink it, and put this thing away. Because right now, you still got a guy who's on both of his feet, and he's dangerous when he's in that position. Big forearm smash. Look at the reach. I think that I think Jackson Crowley's one arm is as long as uh, Marco Stunt's entire body, Rich. Yeah, very well may be. And Jackson Crowley here. What is he thinking? What is he looking at here right now? He's pointing to something. What does he want? I don't know. He sees something on the floor. Well, why is he going up top? Why? Oh, I get it. He wants to do something uh, here with Marco. Yep. Marco Stunt, after delivering that DDT. You know what? I uh, th this, may, this may be payback. I, I would call what he's about to do a dangerous move, but it looks more like a sacrifice. Oh, just biting into the head of Marco Stunt. I told you, this guy loves blood. This guy drinks blood. Probably freezes it, has little blood popsicles in his freezer. Disgusting individual. Setting up Marco Stunt now on the very top. This could end uh, very badly for both men. Yeah, Marco up on the top rope, Crowley on the second. To like two pirates here battling across the bow. Stunt trying to get the advantage. And Jackson Crowley here does seem like he's lost his wind. Oh! Oh, throw first across the top rope. That'll do it. And now Marco Stunt with Jackson Crowley crumble right across that bottom rope. Oh, my God, what a huge running drop kick. And Crowley, boy, he might have whacked his head on that buckle as well. Would you call it a huge spun around. Would you call it a huge running drop kick or a fun size running drop kick? I guess it would be fun size, wouldn't and it? He's Mr. Fun Size, Rich. Well, Jackson Crowley here not looking like he's having too much fun, even though he's got the size. Marco Stunt once again up top. Off the top rope, Marco Stunt with the axe handle, cover. Crowley out at two. I don't know that I don't know that Marco, even as bad as he's been beating Crowley here recently, could keep Crowley down. Crowley's just so much larger than Marco Stunt. And again, the psychoticness that I see in those eyes. Marco, you know, his finisher's the 450 here. Crowley not exactly in position for a 450. So what is Marco here thinking? And Crowley able to take Marco off his feet on that top rope. And now once again, Marco Stunt in a precarious position here. Not a spot you want to be. And it looks like Crowley could be going for a superplex. But Marco Stunt pushing him off. Back up top. Stunt again, going for that head scissors. And Crowley, what's he thinking? Buckle bomb from Jackson Crowley, and off the ropes he goes. Woo, using all his weight to go fit right across the face of Marco Stunt. And look at Marco's back, by the way. Uh, hold on a second, never mind Marco Stunt. Did that even affect Crowley? I don't think it did. I don't think Crowley has nerve endings. I think he prayed to whatever Satan God that he has to to take away nerve endings and pain. I think he might be some kind of like demon at this point. Crowley into the cover, leg hooked. And Marco Stunt hanging in there. It is so hot in this room right now. Crowley out there in all black, wearing a vest, wearing a tie. This man is insane. And he is, he is doing his best uh, zombie Ric Flair walk, it looks like. If Ric Flair was a zombie, I think it might be Jackson Crowley. But again, it is Marco Stunt trying to find a way through. Quickly countered with a headbutt. And a big headbutt, yeah. And look at, again, look at the scratch. Oh my Marco's God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th those, uh, those nails being raked right down the back. Marco Stunt looks like he's been uh, 
gone like he's been I think he's been raked by some kind of uh, an evil animal. Well, and Crowley here just, oh, he does. Come on, man, that guy works for AEW. He's got to go back to work for Tony Khan. If you kill him, he can't do that, do you, think, do you think Jackson Crowley cares about that? Well, maybe Jackson Crowley thinks he can take his spot. Maybe Jackson Crowley thinks if I take out Marco Stun here, maybe I could be Tony Khan's new fun little friend. Jackson Crowley setting up Marco Stunt, Mr. Fun Size. May not be having a very fun night after that. Side I, suplex. I think if I'm Jackson, yeah, put it away, Jackson Crowley. Looking right into your soul. And still only a two count. Props to Marco Stunt here, fighting from underneath to get out, kick out of that pinfall. But no, earlier there were some, uh, there were some loose boards sticking out the side of the ring, and I saw Jackson Crowley kind of show Mark, shove Marco into it. I think what we're seeing on Marco's back is I think he actually caught some of those wooden beams on the outside of the ring, and they, they did some damage to his back. Oh, that was a big backhand slap. Yeah, Rick James style there from Jackson Crowley. So you're saying that Crowley doesn't have long nails and didn't try to uh, just uh, tear Marco's stunt apart. Hey, look, he could have had a voodoo doll ringside. Could have had a werewolf Ooh. come in and attack Marco at a moment that we didn't even see. I don't know. That size 10 right into the grill of Marco's stunt. And uh, lackadaisical cover there by Crowley is not going to get the job done. No matter how small, diminutive, whatever adjective you want to use for Marco Stunt, the only thing he has is the will to compete and never discount that because he will not quit. He never quits. I'm not discounting it, Rich. I'm just trying to be a realist, all right? This guy's twice the size of Marco Stunt. Right into the sleeper. And oh, just, that could be it. And look at those huge, those long arms of Jackson Crowley wrapped around the neck of Marco Stunt like a python. I mean, this is a guy, he probably has pythons. Probably got a couple of them. Probably got a whole pit of pythons in his backyard. Stunt's eyes are glazed. And the referee seeing if Marco Stunt is knocked out right now. We've seen one twice now. Marco's hand has been picked up. Let's one see more if he can done. stay in this. Well, now he's trying to get that big last gasp of oxygen appears to have found that second wind and now with the back elbow is going to try to find his way free and marco stunt doing his best to battle out of the situation that he's in and jackson crowley hanging on by the hair of marco stunt pulling him right back into that chin lock and stunt again trying to get free he was able to get an arm through let's see what he can do with it now using his uh, body weight for momentum that opened up a door, and now Marco Stunt trying to take advantage. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Oh, Crowley Oh, man. Right there across oh, the God. top of the beam. Into the cover. Is that it? No. Crowley able to get his foot on the bottom rope. Oh, man, and wow, what, did it, what a brutal move there. Jackson Crowley right on the top of his head going straight into that mat. Marco Stunt going for a, 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 a Spike Rana. And you're right, it is Crowley whose foot got caught on the bottom rope. He appears to be at least uh, still has his wits about him and oh, held up. Here he comes. Oh, and yeah, you know, it didn't seem to face Jackson Crowley one bit. The undead keep on moving here. Jackson Crowley once again on the offensive here, going after Marco Stunt, maybe now even more enraged. Big sling blade. And Jackson Crowley here not playing around with young Marco Stunt. And Marco doesn't even see him. Jackson Crowley from behind. Stunt the has kick. no idea where he is. No. Crowley into the cover. Oh, come on. Unbelievable. And Jackson Crowley, I think, might have to get a wooden stake and put it through Marco's heart here in just a second. Yeah, he may have to. That's not enough. A blue thunder bomb does not put Marco Stunt away. And Marco Stunt here taking everything he's got right now. And you know, it's probably gotta be pride on Marco's part, right? You know, last night, Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy advancing on and the tag title eliminator tournament over at AEW. Doesn't wanna let down the team, doesn't wanna be the one to go back to Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy and say, hey, we've had a great week. Uh, CM Punk's here, we should be making some moves, but unfortunately, I lost to Jackson Crowley. And by the way, I think he took one of my fingers with him. What? Yeah, Jackson Crowley, I could see him you know, being one of those collector types, you know? Oh my God! A huge Canadian destroyer! Where did Stunt find that? Stunt again! Oh, good Lord! You don't even know what I would call that. No, that was Crowley. I don't know if it was a belly-to-belly, -belly, if he was just trying to toss 
Marco uh, into the buckles. Whatever it was, it was dangerous as hell. I would call that attempted homicide is what I think I would call that. Yeah, I mean, you go into those steel cables like that, I mean, we've seen necks broken. We have, we've seen necks broken, we've seen throats severed. Uh, Jackson Crowley really doesn't seem to care about any of that. Stunt back on his feet. Connects with a super kick. Run into the corner. And whoa! Able to hit it. Slice bread number two. And Crowley. And maybe we're going to get it 450. A fun size 450. There it is! Marco Stunt with the 450 off the top. It's all over. Impressive come from behind victory there from Marco Stunt. But on deck, coming up next, we have a, a big match. You know, AEW's Marco Stunt was just in action. Our next match here also sees another AEW star as Evil Uno is going to be taking on Jason Hotch here in action. And we're going to see that in just a moment as uh, Marco Stunt <laughs> has his hand raised at victory tonight in front of this. Uh, this tremendous crowd here at Marion Catholic High School. Of course, this was supposed to be an outside event. And look, you, see, you see the fans at ringside in the uh, the beach chairs. Uh, Crowley here. What's going on? Well, Marco Stunt inviting Crowley back into the ring. And I wonder why. What is Jackson Crowley doing in the ring here with Marco Stunt? Marco Stunt obviously showing some props here to Jackson Crowley. 